Rick, Delray Beach, Florida, the great WJNO. Go. Hey, Mark. How you doing? All right, sir. Let me uh, mention first, because you said something at the end of that call, why he hasn't been endorsed by Giuliani and uh, Fred Thompson. Well, first of all, because he's played dirty, and you've been saying all along how negative he's been against Tantorum and Gingrich. Isn't that a quality that we want from a guy that's going to be up against Obama? Oh, yeah, we want a quality of a guy that's going to trash conservative Republicans. No, Mark, he's not just... Do he, look, he's trying to win. You, you don't think that he's been trashed as well? Now, listen, hey, listen I'm, to me. Let's, let, let me explain something. All right, go ahead. If you want to run in a general election and pull together different uh, 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 parts of the Republican Party, you can't go out there and eviscerate different parts of the Republican Party. Can you tell me one Republican in recent mind who's done that and been successful? Well, <laughs> I mean, he keeps he keeps comparing himself to Ronald Reagan. Reagan didn't do that, and they had well, a, so they, they had a they had a they had a they had a okay. Hold on a second, and they had a brute. A bruising fight. What's happening now, ladies and gentlemen, is we're asking people to call. All the Romney guys are calling in, which is fine, but they're self-deniers. Let me ask you the question that I began the program with, Rick. He's getting 41% of the popular vote. 41% of the popular Republican vote. That is so weak if you're the inevitable nominee. Aren't you concerned about that? Mark, I'm concerned that the fact that Obama has every piece of media. Hey, forget on his about side. Obama for a second. Forget about Obama. Forget about Bush. Forget about the. I'm asking you a question. Can you answer it? He's got 41 percent of the Republican popular vote. And what, Try and answer it without bringing up Obama. We're all going to vote against Obama. Fine. What does San, What percent does Santorum? Forget have? about Santorum. Let's pretend that he's not the nominee. Let's but you pretend. have. Doing. All right, I'm that's enough. Get out. I said, let us pretend that Romney's the nominee. So Santorum's not even in the picture. And if you're a betting person, you'll bet on Romney right now, correct? He's getting 41% of the popular vote. What do we do to make sure he gets more of the vote? What has to happen? Because he's not going to win if he doesn't pull the Republican Party together. And the answer seems to be, well, we got to cut off the primary now. I'm actually hearing arguments against Republican primaries. It's, it's stunning to me. Two years ago, a little more than two years ago, when we rose up and defeated the Democrats in the House and almost took the Senate, we understood and we agreed that the primary process is the way we promote conservatism. The guy spends $30 million, 91% of it is attacking Santorum, attacking Gingrich, attacking the others too. Perry, I can't remember everybody. The problem is, let me answer my own question. The man should have spent 91% of his $30 million promoting himself and conservative principles. Reagan had his 11th Amendment. It's a little shaky. Reagan took on his opponents and was pretty strong in taking them on, but not like this. I honestly can't remember anything like this. George W. Bush didn't do this. I don't, I don't, I don't remember this kind of carpet bombing. That's why, in my humble opinion, he has... 41%. It's his own doing. So he may well win the Republican nomination. He's in the lead. But in the meantime, what has he done, ladies and gentlemen? I'm giving you my opinion, although apparently I'm not supposed to. I'm just supposed to get in line with all the rest of them. I don't do that. What Romney has done is he's weak in the Republican Party. That's what he's done. And I've told you, and I'll tell you again. If he's the nominee, he gets my support. We must beat Obama. But this carpet bombing, these negative ads, just as people are emotionally tied to Romney, they're emotionally tied to Santorum, they're emotionally tied to Newt, they're emotionally tied to uh, Perry and Bachman and this one and that one. 
You're going around state after state, and he's going into Pennsylvania to do exactly the same thing. And it's not just Republicans. So-called independents have a high negative view of him because they're seeing the same ads. And at the very end, they say, paid for by Mitt Romney. Now, you can squeak through these Republican primaries, and he's squeaking through them in the bluest of blue states. But you're going to tick off a lot of people in the meantime. I don't mind it so much against Obama, negative ad for negative ad, but when you are carpet bomb, overwhelming your opponent, he's not going to have that position against Obama. He's, it's going to be the opposite. That's why I'm asking. How do we help him? What do we advise him? And you don't even have to bring up Obama and Santorum to do that, do you? 